I see a function up above. More importantly, I see something distinct about this function. And that is, I see common factors in two parts of my equation. So this is a College Board Classic for more advanced problems, of course. So if I can get both of these to the same side, I can factor out that x plus 5, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it much easier for us. So down below, we have 3 times x minus b still. That's times x plus 5. And then I subtract it over the 2 times x plus 5. And now everything's equal to 0. And now that they're both on the same side, we can factor it out. So this is going to look a little weird, but we're going to try to make it make sense. I'm factoring x plus 5 out of both terms. So this will be term 1. This will be term 2. So what's left from term 1 is going to be 3 times x minus b. Because if I would redistribute it, I would get back to where I started, right? And then minus term 2, that's just going to be a minus 2 because we factored out the x plus 5. So think about it. If I just distribute this back into my 2, I'm going to get what was up above. That should be equal to 0. And then all I have to do is I want to simplify my right parentheses here. So my left one's still x plus 5. My right one's going to be 3x. I'm just distributing. 3x minus 3b. And then minus 2. And then what we can do now is since both of these are equal to 0, we can get both of our solutions, both of our uh, intercepts here. So I can say, well, when x is negative 5, we get 0 here. This one's going to be 3x is equal to 3b plus 2. I just added them both to the other side. So our x over here is going to be b plus 2 over 3. Now, finally, back to the problem. They wanted the sum of our solutions. So that was the whole point of this. We got our two solutions right here, negative 5 and this. So if we add both of these together, negative 5 plus b plus 2 thirds, this should be equal to the sum of our solutions, 23 over 3. So to make this easy, we could just multiply everything by 3. So we would have negative 15 plus 3b plus 2 is equal to 23. And I don't have much room left, but we'll try. I would add 15 to the other side, so we have 38. But then I would subtract 2, so we have 36 is equal to 3b, or finally, b is equal to 12. And that's all you got to do for that one.